Hello! How are you? It's Sin. Welcome back, or welcome, to my channel. Today, we will be doing a fashion analysis react video. Okay. Very English, like, like Lies of P-ish. I'm getting Lies of P. Is it because I was watching Lies of P? Gameplay yesterday that I'm in this mood. Oh, he's giving me David Bowie from that angle. His face is very glossy, like he's wearing a mask. Beautiful back. Sculpted. bottom of the shoes are red. I wonder if they're from the same designers that make red bottom heels. It's very androgynous, for sure. Whoa, this is like a gothic romance. Oh, the hair. Okay, calm down with the music. The hair, I was going to say, reminded me of, um, I forget, magazine editor and designer. I, I'm going to put her name here. Redhead. But her fashion, her sense of styling for editorial magazine spreads is very much pro like prominent here. There's a lot of like essence of um, Vivian Westwood in here too. supposed to show like she's wearing poops but it's actually like underwear I'm turn it down it's overwhelming I'm gonna try to find like a work in progress video to show you guys afterwards but to show you all afterwards but they're like hand sewn underwear with fake hair on it or real hair to make it look like pubes so make her look like she's naked when she's not i don't know about her breasts though but the pubes is underwear i'm wondering what the makeup style and direction is supposed to portray oh i really love the thin layer of um mesh it's like tool over the trench coat very romantic yet at the same time so masculine definitely very androgynous yeah there is layers that is i don't know why but that's hot i like that it's like a combination of very structured rugged masculinity and industrialization aesthetics and then this really soft layer of tool that goes over and i just I don't know, it romanticizes it. Because when you think about tools, what do you think? You think about dresses, you think about ballet skirts, you think about hosiery, but it's laid on top of this. That's genius. I love it. I love it. Like, are they trying to look like glass dolls, porcelain dolls? Like, or are they trying to look like just really healthy skin with the glass, seven step glass makeup look? You know what I mean? Oh, I, I really like that beetle green underneath. That's gorgeous. And I like how the skirt on the outer is like A-line and it's like mesh, but the inside looks more like a mermaid tail. Two different silhouettes overlapping. That's gorgeous. Very um, theatrical with the way they walk. But it's, it's really making me fall back in love with gothic fashion all over again. Oh, look at that. That's the moon on her hips. It's giving me a lot of fey vibes there. Fairy, fairy aesthetic, fairy core. Porcelain doll. I was thinking too, I could see that. Like porcelain. I like the hips where it's like embroidered. 
I believe this person is a special, um, like a special camo appearance. They agreed to walk the stage. Whoa, look at that trench coat. Whoa, this one looks really trippy. Like oil sleek prints. It also has a mesh over. Guys, I think I have a fashion kink. Oh, that's a long ass top stitch for aesthetics. I don't know how I feel about the long top stitch. It's different, it's distinctive. Wow, that reverse like shape for the feathers. Definitely creepy. Um, yeah, it's, it's creepy. <laughs> I don't know what he's holding. A little satchel for his coins? His drugs? It's, it seems like a fairly small fashion show with like only a certain amount of- ooh, nipple ring. Uh, oh, it's a mesh top. It's like a bralette that probably has a nipple ring on it. I could be wrong, but... Maybe not. Because it does, if you follow my cursor, it looks like the bra is just an underwire with like a strap that connects over here. But this could be empty or it could be just mesh underneath with the, the nipple ring on the mesh. That's gorgeous. I love this so much. That's so creepy. <laughs> what is he selling some drugs? And his designer outfits. Oh, I like that bandit mask. Ooh, that skirt's pretty. She's like a vase or a vase. I don't know why she's posing like that. What story are they telling? Story of poverty? Abandonment? Being cold? Earth angel, earth angel. I don't, I don't. Their silhouettes are so like very severe. I don't know how I feel about these. Why are the guys are creeps and the girls are like elegant and stuff? Oh, I like those boots. I need to see those boots again. Those are hot boots. PVC and red bottom black patent leather. Sign me up. Those shoes are hot. Why are the guys all like acting like this? Oh, I really like the fabric. There's a sheen to it. And then the women are, ooh, his skin is so glossy too. Yeah, but why are they all like that? The guys are all like that. And the women are like, the women look like they need a fix. I don't know. I'm getting like, I don't know, like on the streets of London, cocaine addiction vibes. Oh, this is creepy. I think that's the whole point. I like that part. I think the dress is 3D printed. Is it 3D printed? Yes, it is. And the inside is one color. The outside is another color. So when, the f when they 3D print the half circle shapes, it folds over and it shows the colors. They look like marionettes. Maybe that's what it is. The glossy is like a doll, like a mar mar marionette. Yeah, look at these poses. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bottom half is definitely 3D printed, flipped over. And less and less flipped over as it goes up, like a fish scale. Oh, did she? Almost dropped her boobies. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna censor that on YouTube. I definitely got a nip slip. 